Fenoscandian Exploration and, and Mining Conference is the biggest uh, industrial conference in Lapland and it has a long history. The uh, mining industry has a great role here in Lapland nowadays and the potential is very big. I think that this conference uh, is a great arena to, to different stakeholders to meet and to gather up and discuss about the future of this industry. Finland has evolved in the same way as everywhere else in the world. Uh, people want to know more. Uh, they want to be involved in decisions. And, and even though we had uh, a public uh, scrutiny at the beginning, at the license level, we need to have more input from people. We need to, to develop uh, the relationship uh, and, and be in, not only at the, at the permitting time, but any other time, we need to have the input from, from people. So we want a sustainable employment, sustainable uh, economic benefit. So we have to control our costs and, and everything is more costly. We have more environmental constraints. Uh, so we need to think outside the box to, be, to make sure that whatever we do, is, is done efficiently and, and we optimize what we do to make sure that we have the long mine lives. Well, I think it's critical that uh, when companies are coming into an area for the first time that uh, they establish a, a process to engage with the local communities. And uh, that means, you know, the leaders, that means the, uh, the business owners, uh, the community members themselves to inform them of, of what their intentions are in working in the area. But it's also critical that the agreements uh, or the process includes the idea of learning about the local people, not just about the project and what the project's going to do. I think the building of trust between parties is critical to the uh, success of uh, successful agreements. So I think that by being respectful uh, developing trust and being transparent is critical to the success of, a, of an agreement and a process of building a project. The whole science behind mining, you know, some of these projects are the biggest science projects in the world. We've had projects in oil in Canada where they're no longer using fresh water for extracting oil. They're using brackish water from underground. Some really, really great projects are, are happening with Finland and Canada and other European countries. So putting the science into the mining sector has been very exciting. It's a very, very technologically driven sector of the economy. Uh, between all the countries, currently the cooperation in the education and, and research is uh, relatively active. The Minister Council of Nordic countries, they are now investing money for this kind of cooperation, which means that it will only increase. Between 2012 and 2015, what this Nordmin can generate is the uh, couple of uh, research calls, which one of these is actually open, and they will put uh, 2.5 million euros fully in this kind of cooperation. Finland's mineral potential is, is great and, and, and moreover we have very good geological basic data thanks to the Geological Survey of Finland. I think it's best in the world, geophysics, geochemistry, geology, all the databases and, and these are easily available for companies. It's not enough if you have just mineral potential, you have to do exploration and Finland is, has recently been ranked as as the most interesting country for exploration spending in the world. So there will be exploration projects and you need time, you need money, but the discoveries will come. It's extremely important. Um, I've been in CSIRO close to 30 years uh, at this point in time and nearly every project, well, I can say actually every project I've done has been either in collaboration with industry or, um, or has a sort of a large industry component to it. And what that actually does, it actually focuses the researchers on a problem, but at the same time, it also gives industry uh, an interest in what the researchers are producing. So it's a win-win on both sides. The data mining challenge, that's actually getting access to data. The data mining challenge overall is, is very similar. Uh, we all have, uh, 
both uh, Finiscandia and Australia have there's access to quite large amounts of data sets available, but uh, making them in forms that, that are usable is, is, quite, is still quite a challenge. Oh, we face a number of challenges. The, first of all, let me say that everything we do is based on sustainable development. We want to live side by side, the industry side by side to the community and all the people that we have. In. And it's just not just a question about Kiruna. We also have to move part of, of Malmbed where we have the other big mine. We need to work with, with long time perspectives and we need to be, have a good dialogue and work, cooperate with everything from the community, the people leading the community, uh, the politicians and so on, and all the way out to, to each and every one that we meet. There are so many opportunities. We can build a new society based on, on the, uh, all the things that we would like to have in the future, energy efficiency and climate issues and so on. So we now have the, the wonderful opportunity to, to rebuild the cities. It will take 10, 15 years to adjust, to move from one place to another, to, to build up the new city. There's a lot of consideration that has to be made. How, how would we lo li like to see the new city? What facilities and so on would we like to have? The, so it's a long process. Again, in, in, inside the community, they have together with the people living in Kiruna decide how would we, lo would we like to see the future.